This fan theory about Captain Marvel's cat and Nick Fury is amazing. Unless you have some sort of mind filter that blocks out anything related to Monday Night Football, then you probably are aware that the Captain Marvel trailer dropped last night during the game. Fans are getting more and more hyped for Carol Danvers' solo film, and Marvel gifting us the full trailer definitely is helping to add some holiday cheer this December. But before we go any further, spoiler warning! The Eagles won. Haha! <laughs> but if you want to stay clear of Captain Marvel spoilers, be careful of the details ahead. But let's get into it. The trailer is packed with more of Carol's backstory and how this movie looks to be doing a major retcon of her origin. We also see how convinced she is that the Kree are noble warrior heroes, which obviously means they're setting up our hero for a big letdown when she finally realizes how much of a dumble douche Jude Law's still unnamed but probably Jan Rog character really is. But the thing that really has fans buzzing is that last scene with Nick Fury losing his cool over the adorableness of the cat. We're glad to know that Nick Fury is a cat person. Now in the comics, Captain Marvel's cat is not really a cat. It's a cat-like alien called a flurkin. A flurkin has tentacles that come out of its mouth and holds pocket dimensions all over its body. Ah. And because of her love of Star Wars, Carol's cat is named Chewie in the comics. But we get the impression that Disney is not super down to have another furry alien companion named Chewie under their substantial umbrella. Therefore, the name of the cat on the big screen has been changed to Goose. So they're really just trading a Star Wars reference for a Top Gun reference, which means Disney owes Paramount a beer to put these flames out. hey -o, Top Gun quote! Goose also brings up some questions about what Captain Marvel does and doesn't remember. So far in both trailers, it's been very clear that she has a very spotty memory and is trying to piece together her past. But following Nick Fury and the cat's arc in the trailer is what really raises some questions and theories. In this movie, Nick Fury has two eyes, but has a scratch over the same eye that he will lose later in the MCU timeline. Now, we can piece together some of Fury's ocular history from other mentions in the MCU. In The Winter Soldier, Fury says, Last time I trusted someone, I lost an eye. Last time I trusted someone, I lost an eye. And here's where the fan theory comes in. Through the brilliance of the internet speculation engine, some fans made the connection that the someone Nick Fury trusted was Goose the Cat. And as our friends at Uproxx called out, Twitter was ablaze with people chiming in to sort out this theory. At Queen of the Geeks laid it all out pretty clearly with this tweet. When Nick Fury said, the last time I trusted someone, I lost an eye, he meant Carol's cat. Goose took his eye, thank you for coming to my TED talk. Ghulam Arshad took the theory to a new level by pulling on both the cat and the scroll threads in the trailer. The scrolls are making me so paranoid, it's got me thinking, what if the cat is a scroll and she scratches Fury's eye out? And some fans, like at Lance Vader, are so invested in this cat theory being right, the whole movie rests on this one detail. Of course, while this theory is super fun and gives cats the respect they obviously deserve, this is all just speculation and mostly an opportunity for people to make cat jokes. While it is definitely possible for a flurkin or even an actual cat to majorly mess up someone's eye, we're thinking the real reason Nick Fury lost his eye will be something a little more dramatic. Plus, if you check your MCU archives, you'll find some pretty strong evidence that Fury will make it to the end of Captain Marvel with both eyes seen clearly. Going back through our Nick Fury files earlier this year, we learned from Entertainment Weekly that in Captain Marvel, which takes place in the 1990s, Nick Fury will be a lowly shield desk jockey who hasn't yet met any superheroes. And in Captain America the Winter Soldier, Robert Redford's villainous secretary Pierce has a photo of him and Nick Fury with two healthy eyes from five years after they met when Pierce was working with the State Department in Bogota. Pierce also mentions that he promoted Nick Fury to Director of S.H.I.E.L.D. after that incident in Bogota, which would make his rank a lot higher than a desk jockey. This means that incident definitely takes place after Captain Marvel. Knowing Fury still has his eye while occupying a higher rank in S.H.I.E.L.D., this makes it even less likely that Goose is behind Fury's iconic eye patch. So while we still don't have an official explanation for what happened to Fury's eye, we doubt we'll see anything happen to it in Captain Marvel, aside from that nasty eyebrow scratch we see in the trailer. But then again, Marvel is known to play fast and loose with the MCU timeline, so maybe they will have the Flurkin cat scratch out Nick Fury's eye, then find a way to fix the timeline later. <clears throat> Spider-Man Homecoming. But what do you folks think? Will Goose the Cat be behind Nick Fury's vision problems? Are we correct in our Bogota timeline? And how sure are you that Sam Jackson will say, I almost lost my goddamn eye in Captain Marvel? Because we're placing bets. Let's discuss. 
Be sure to like, subscribe, and mash that little bell to get notified when we go live with a show or drop a new video. Looking for more superhero shenanigans? Then don't miss our latest Nerdist Presents video, Finding Aquaman. It's the mashup of Finding Nemo and Aquaman you didn't know you needed. Check it out right now.